Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we're going to take a look at this smart meter from Kiwi's. This is the ST600Y. There's some information on the back. But you're welcome to pause the video and have a look at. So here's a nice manual it comes with. If you have any trouble? <clears throat> Support at kiwitz.com is the email address. There's a couple of QR codes. In case you're interested. And let's see here. Manual mode, smart mode, AC, DC, current measurement. Here we go. Specification. Runs on three AAA batteries. Cat 3, 600 volts. Max voltage 600 volts. Fuse protection 10 amp 250 volts. Sampling rate three times a second and the display is 6,000 counts. Accuracy specifications. I'm just going to go through these here and you can you know, pause the video, check them out at your leisure. All right, so let's get the meter out and have a look at it. It's no great surprise that we're seeing a trend these days of meters that look like cell phones. I mean, here is an old school meter, what I would consider an old school meter. You know, it's eight inches long or so. Three and a half, four inches wide, inch or so thick, with the big clicky dial. But these more modern meters you're seeing look more like cell phones. And I think the reason for that is it's more economical to uh, use these switches as opposed to using the big knob that has to be put in with mechanical places, you know, has to be put in by hand and all that. This is probably all pick and placed. All right, so let's see what's in the bag. We have got thermocouple, probe leads, and batteries. See, the unit is protected by a nice nice uh, plasticky on in there that's pretty cool it's not real stiff it wasn't real hard to get off i know i for one certainly appreciate that <laughs> there we go so four triple a batteries running on about what these alkaline so they're 1.5 volts a piece two of them is three four of them is six so we're running on six volts why is that important well it's important for when you're testing diodes and things like that you know, if you just have something that's running three volts and you've got to test diodes where you're generally putting out three, 3.2 volts. Well, then you're going to need a way to boost that up somehow. I'm sure, you're just adding more complexity and more circuitry. I mean, it seems like a reasonable way to do it. Okay. So there we go. Multicolored. Hold function. We can go DC voltage, resistance, continuity, diode, 
capacitor, frequency, temperature. That's good. And you also notice down here, these things blink to tell you where you need to be plugging things into, which is great. So now we're back in smart mode. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the leads we'll be using. And of course, we are going to be using the Probe Master leads. We use them for all of our testing here. And the reason is just, it's really simple. If we use the same set of leads on every meter we've tested, then we don't have to worry about taking into account the effect of different leads. Some leads are better, some are worse. By using the same set of leads, we have no worries. We know we're only testing the meters themselves and not the leads. Well, I can even hear the continuity beep. Pretty cool. So, let's start out. No, no stand-up stand. That's somewhat unfortunate. Get that light out of there, it'll make it better. Okay. So we got our voltage standard here. It's been warming up for a half hour, so I'm going to turn it on. And we'll start at the low end here. Two and a half volts. Let's get my micro grabbers off there. Two point five oh nine, and it found it relatively quickly. Let's go to the next voltage, five volts. Bar graph pretty nice there, seven and a half, which should take us over the count limit. There we go. So we lost the digit and ten volts. Looks good. Um, I didn't expect there to be any trouble. All right. Let's do a little bit of resistance. Oh, just lost the wire. Shoot. One second, please, while I punt. We'll start with 9 ohms. That's not fine, that is it. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, got it back up and running. A little bit of soldering fix there. So there's 1K. Let's see, 5K. That's doing pretty good. Uh, 9 ohms. Actually, it's 90 ohms. Doesn't like them. Interesting. How about 900 ohms? All right, that's good. How about 10K? Yeah. 90k? Interesting. A little slow drift down there at the beginning, but then it stabilized. No problem. Alright, how about... Oops. 
Watch my wire. One meg. Nine megs. Yeah, I mean, it's reasonable enough. I would have no trouble using that in day-to-day uh, -day life. Let's go back, put it back in smart mode. I'm just taking my micro grabbers off there. So I can bring in my diode and capacitor board. All right, let's start with, I think this is a uh, Schottky diode. No, nope, that's a silicon junction diode. But it is reading it as a resistor. So smart mode doesn't know that. Let's put it in diode mode. Just a silicon. Here's another bigger one. Let's try it. All right, red LED lights it, shows our forward voltage. Yellow LED light and show forward voltage. Green, very dim lighting, but showing our forward voltage. Blue, good, and white. No worries. All right, try capacitor mode. Should have been a hundred, so good. Fifty, good. That should have been 10. 3.2 is a little on the low side. But the thing with capacitors is you never really know what the manufacturing tolerance is. There's 10. Good. And the big one. Should be what, 1,000? Yeah. Yeah, it's close enough. So I'm not going to go into every single feature on this. We can see it works. It works well. It's nicely designed. It's hand-sized. It has a large color screen, which, I don't know, to me, that's a little bit weird with a multimeter, but hey, whatever, right? Got to go with the times. Things change. We can't be uh, fixated on the past. Let me get these screws out. I'll be right back. The screws, and I like this, are very coarse threaded. So they just come out in just a couple of turns. Battery screws a little different, not too much. Going through meters for years and years. I can say, oh, I just launched screws everywhere. My bad. The, I, f I found them all. Good. I find Kiwits, Kiwits, whatever, however you say it, to be on the higher end of the manufacturing quality. And look, as we take this case apart, we end up with double walled case, which is just excellent for protection, you know. So there's our 10 amp, 250 volt fuse. Get a PTC here. A couple of MILF resistors. Don't really see any diode protection here going on. We got a relay which you can hear clicking and clacking. Right there, that silver area is our antenna for the non-contact voltage. This is probably our um, LCD 
controller then under this coating would be the actual um, brains of the, the operation and I say that because it has the uh, has a crystal oscillator there alongside with it yeah it's pretty simple construction but it's 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 robust now I would be happy to use this in just about any home you know operation check my outlets you know whatever it seems safe enough to me for that obviously not going to use it for um, any industrial applications you know where we're talking triple phase power or you know 600 uh, kilovolt range don't want to be in there without a lot of protection anyway and you know you're not going to get into that on your own and if that's your job then you're going to be issued proper personal protection equipment and a proper meter and taught how to use it so not going to be a problem I like this meter. Like I said, I'm old school. I prefer a big knob that goes click, clack, click, clack when I change between settings. But, I don't know. Could I get used to this? Maybe. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to keep it around. And uh, you're going to see it in some upcoming videos. And see if I like using a meter like this. I might. What do you guys think about the, the changing face of the multimeter? Are you a traditionalist like me? Or are you uh, embracing the change? I'm going to try to embrace it. I don't know how well I'll do. So, my overall opinion of this, this is nice. I like it. Good uh, good toolbox size meter. The non-contact voltage is uh, incredibly useful. The uh, bar graph along the bottom for voltage is great. The fact that it gives you an indicator where you need to plug things in is great. It's got a nice hold function. I mean, yeah, it's all in all a really nice meter. Kaiweet sent this out to me free of charge for our consideration for me to go over and show it to you. So I want to thank them for that. But you guys ought to know by now, I'm not blowing sunshine up anybody's skirt. If it's crap, I'll tell you it's crap. I don't think that's crap. I think it's a nice meter. So I want to hear what you guys think down below. Let me know. All right. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.